previous lesson, we learned that the trachea divides into two main bronchi, and the main bronchi divide further into lobar bronchi, also known as secondary bronchi. In this lesson, we will discuss segmental bronchi and bronchopulmonary segments. Each lobar bronchus divides further into segmental bronchi, also known as tertiary bronchi. Segmental bronchi supply air to bronchopulmonary segments of the lungs. It is important to have a good understanding of segmental or tertiary bronchi as well as bronchopulmonary segments, including their names, positions, shapes, their relationships with other segments, and surrounding anatomical structures. This knowledge becomes extremely important for specialized branches of medicine, such as cardiothoracic surgery, pulmonology, and radiology, for example. A bronchopulmonary segment is defined as a portion of lung supplied by a specific segmental bronchus. A bronchopulmonary segment is surrounded by a thin layer of connective tissue, which physically separates it from the adjoining segments. Exchange of air in one segment takes place via just one segmental bronchus, and deoxygenated blood goes to that bronchopulmonary segment via just one branch of pulmonary artery that travels along and branches further with the segmental bronchus. Both run together through the center of the segment while dividing further into smaller branches. The veins, on the other hand, run in connective tissue between the adjacent bronchopulmonary segments. Bronchopulmonary segments are the anatomic and functional units of lungs. Since each has its own separate air and blood supply, one segment can be surgically removed without affecting others. Each bronchopulmonary segment also has its own lymphatic and autonomic nerve supply. Despite of left lung being smaller than the right lung and left lung having only two lobes as opposed to the three lobes in the right lung, there are some similarities in the segmental anatomy of the right and left lungs. There are, however, a few significant differences which you need to know. Each lung can have a maximum of 10 segments. Frequently, some segments are fused in some people. For example, left lung can often have as few as eight or nine segments. The sketch shows oblique views of both lungs with the anterior lateral side towards you and posterior medial side facing the other direction. And the segments have been separated for teaching purpose. Although there are more than one naming conventions for the segments, the easiest one to remember is the one which makes use of the anatomical positions of the segments within the lobes of each lung. The upper lobes on both sides contain three segments, namely, apical segment, posterior segment, and anterior segment. Apico-posterior segment on the left side is formed by the merger of left apical and left posterior segments. The middle lobe in the right lung has two segments. These are called medial segment and lateral segment. The left lung does not have a middle lobe. The lingula in the left lung, which is equivalent of the middle lobe on the right side, but is essentially a part of the left upper lobe, also has two segments. These are called superior lingular segment and inferior lingular segment. Lower lobes in both lungs have five segments each. Apical or superior segment, posterior basal segment, lateral basal segment, anterior basal segment, medial basal segment which is also known as cardiac segment. On the left side, anterior medial basal segment is formed by the merger of anterior basal and medial basal segments.